It quite often happens that an employee will ask for an advance on his wages because for some reason a bill has come on along that he wasn't expecting and boss, can you please help me and I'll repay it out of my future income from you. If you click on the payroll categories and in the wages, the very top button is advance. And this is where we will put in on their payslip how much we were going to pay them assuming that they wanted it paying along with their, uh, their normal wage. If I click on the white arrow, the very first time I do it, the wages name is advanced, the type of wages is salary, that's okay. But the one thing I don't want is for the cost of the advance going into my wage expense account, I want to put it into an employee advance account. If I click on the optional account override, and then I will need to tell MYOB what is the override account. I've already set one up. If I click on the down arrow, up here in my assets, I've got an account 1600 employee advances. Highlight that, use that account. MYOB says, are you sure? The account for wages expense is usually an expense account. Correct, but in this particular case, it is not an expense account. Click OK, and I've now changed the allocation of the expense or the outgoing to an employee advance account. The other thing I must remember to do is if I leave it in there as a normal wage and expense item, MYOB will try and deduct tax from it. I need to tell the system that it is exempt from tax. Down the bottom here I have the exempt button and it is going to be exempt from PAYG withholding. If I click OK, he'll now get the thousand dollars, whatever it is, and not pay tax on it. For those of you one step ahead, if I also check on the superannuation and if I look at superannuation guarantee, and the exempt button there, I'll see that advance is already ticked as being exempt from superannuation guarantee. I won't be giving him 9% for super on it either. Click OK. If I click OK again, I can now include the amount of whatever the advance is when I next do the pay run. I will of course have to set up a deduction so that he can repay it. If I click on deductions, I have up there an advance repayment button. If I click on the white arrow, it tells me up here my linked payable account is 21410, the generic payroll accruals payable account. I've put the cost of the advance into an account 1600. Would be a good idea if I put the repayments in the same account. If I click on the down arrow and go up the list, I can find 1600 employee advances. Again, click that description, click use account, and the account for deductions withheld is usually a liability account, correct. However, in this case, I just want to reduce the amount of the loan outstanding. Click OK, and I can then put it in there. I could put it in as a user entered amount per pay period, or I could put it into equal so many dollars per pay period or a percentage of his gross wage. My experience tells me that putting it in as a user entered amount per pay period is normally a good idea. I could, however, say once you've received a certain amount in wages, that's when you start paying it. So I could say no limit or equal so many dollars per pay period. Click OK and we're now set to pay the advance and to recoup it as his wages continue thereafter. Click close and we're now set up to roll the payroll. What we're going to do now is to follow through an example of what happens when somebody wants to have an advance. In my company, Harry Lee is set up to get advances. If I click on payroll categories, and if I click on the advance at the top under wages and I look at the employees, I can see that Harry Lee is ticked as qualifying for advances. If 
If I click OK there, and OK there, and close there, and then I can go back to process the payroll. I'll process the payroll for Harry Lee only. Individual employee, if I put in L, he's the only Lee I've got in my system, the only L. And I'll leave the payment date as the 22nd of August 2012, which is today's date. The pay period start and the pay period ended is fine. And there are no timesheets. That's OK. If I click Next, I can then go into the Edit Pay. And if I click on the white arrow, up will come Harry Lee's pay slip. At the moment, I can't see Advance, but if I scroll down a bit, up comes the Advance. His net pay at the moment is $752. If I click in there and then put in the amount of the advance, Harry wants an advance of $1,000, which he's going to repay at the rate of $100 a week. I put in $1,000, press Tab, his net pay now becomes 1752 And if I click OK, and then record, and then the pays will process normally. Click next to the end and finish. The following week, I want to start deducting from Harry. If I look in my payroll categories, and under deductions, advanced repayments, the employees, and I need to make sure that Harry Lee is ticked, and he'll then appear as able to have an advanced repayment taken out of his wages as we go through. I'll click OK, and if I look on the exempt button, I'll also see that the advanced repayment do I want to deduct the advance repayment from gross pay before calculating the selected tax? Would be nice, but I don't think so. Just leave it blank. Click OK. Click OK. Click Close. And we'll now process the payroll for the following week. I click Process Payroll. The individual employee is Harry. If I just put in the L, up he'll come. The payment date for the following week is not the 22nd. If I click on the calendar and then click on the 29th, that'll change. The pay period start will be the following week. Uh, yes, I know it's after the current date. <laughs> That's fine. The 16th will then become the 23rd. And the pay period end which has to come later, that's OK, will be the 29th. Click Next, and we're ready to have a look again. Again, we look at Edit Pay. I don't want anything in Advances, but if I click on the down arrow, I have an Advance Repayment. The Employee Advance is $100, but because I'm going to take it off Harry, I need to put in the minus sign. So I put in minus 100. Harry's net pay has gone from 752 to 652. If I click OK, and then record, and then continue, and click OK, and next, and finish, that's Harry taken care of. If I look in the Find Transactions area, and I have a look, I don't want to search by payroll category, I'll search by account. If I have a look in there at account number 1600, which is the account which records all those transactions, the Employee Advances account, use that account. I've got Harry Lee in there showing us the $1,000 advance. And if I expand the field to include the end of the month, I can there see $100 credit. He now owes me $900. No problem at all. Click Close, and there we are. Handling employee advances and repayments. When Harry's paid it all, he can come and see me, and he'll probably need another advance.